We start with a day of mourning here in Chicago. A fallen Chicago police officer laid to rest. St. Rita's was packed inside and out with uniformed police officers from Chicago, surrounding cities, and even a few from across the country today. The officer standing in unity with the family of Andres Vasquez Lasso. He was killed in the line of duty a week ago. His commander described him as a man with a big heart who was humble and happy as he worked for justice and community. He came to the United States from Columbia at the age of 18, learned English, then entered the Chicago Police Department at 27 with dreams of becoming a detective. Eight days ago, the Chicago Police Department lost one of our finest. The 8th District lost one of our bravest. The city of Chicago lost a guardian, a champion, a hero. Officer Vasquez Lasso's family from Columbia was flown in for today's funeral mass. CPD Chaplain Father Dan Brandt delivered part of the eulogy, and he highlighted notes from mourners left with the funeral home, including this one from retired Chicago police officer Warren Hughes, which reads in part, It is with a heavy heart that I and my wife offer our condolences. A very brave officer, he made the ultimate sacrifice to the citizens of this city by giving up his life. Not only may his name be engraved on the memorial wall near Soldier Field, but also in our minds and our hearts for all eternity. Brandt also quoted a message from a group of civilians. It is a tragedy beyond words when a Chicago police officer loses his or her life in the pursuit of preserving our safety. Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso made that supreme sacrifice. This is a reminder of the significant risks that our police officers face daily and our need to defend them and to support them and to provide them with the resources they need to do their work. Vasquez Lasso is now the 596th Chicago police officer to die in the line of duty and the first since Ella French, who was killed during a traffic stop in West Englewood in August of 2021. Elizabeth Matthews is live at the Gold Star Memorial with more on today's emotional farewell. Elizabeth? Officer Vasquez Lasso's name, of course, will be added to this Gold Star Family Memorial wall that sits outside of Soldier Field. But today he was remembered as the hero that he was. Today the community gathered around the body of fallen officer Andres Vasquez Lasso. His funeral at St. Rita's, where hundreds filed in to pay their last and final respects. His friends, family, and law enforcement from across the country showed up to support the grieving wife. The 32-year-old was just shy of serving five years on the force with CPD. The church was packed. As many spoke this morning about the young officer, including CPD's superintendent, David Brown. One glad morning, Father Brandt, there will be no more 10 ones, no more officer downs, no more lights and sirens, no more black bands across our stars. No more. No more. No more. Following the mass, a procession with the help of the Chicago Fire Department and first responders lining the streets, the body of Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso was carried away from St. Rita's to his final resting place. Streets were shut down and the hero was given a proper final goodbye. Of course, a sad day for this family, for Chicago police, for law enforcement, for this community, for law enforcement everywhere. Tonight, there will be a benefit at the IBEW Hall starting at 6 o'clock. That's going to be put on by the Brotherhood for the Fallen. All proceeds of that event that starts again tonight at 6 will go to the Vasquez Lasso family. Reporting Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Now, Elizabeth, thank you so much. Such a